Alright. Hey, you are now tuned in to Super Duper TV. Enjoy. Everybody turning up and we can't turn them. Oh, full of baddies coming out that shirt snap. I just hit the plug. We gon' bring some more out. We taking shots like the back. We gon' need some more out. It's lit, lit, oh yeah. It's lit, lit, oh yeah. YouTube, it's your boy Super Duper. I'm back with another video, man. Today, man, I'm gonna be doing this mukbang. I asked a bunch of people to send me a bunch of questions and shit like that. I will answer them with a mukbang. I got this vegetarian burrito, got rice in it, black beans, vegetarian chicken, and some sour cream and shit like that. So I'm about to smash this. Of course, we followed by this nice young tropical fantasy blue lemonade. You know what I'm saying? You know I can't do it without a tropical fantasy. I'm about to smash this shit, answer these questions, and we gonna, you know what I'm saying, get to know me a little bit. If you're not already tuned in, man, make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe, 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 man. I need y'all to give me the 500 subscribers, man. Give me the 500 subscribers so we can go ahead and start dropping these double drops a week. Also, man, if y'all not already tapped in, man, go follow me on Instagram, man. Give me the 10K. Go ahead and comment. Like, share this video, man. Turn on my post notifications so that you notify whenever I drop. Man, y'all not going to miss these, man. I'm dropping bangers all freaking month. Now let's get into this mukbang, man. Let's get into these questions. The questions were sent to me on my phone, which is what I'm recording off of right now type of shit. I wrote the questions down on my sketchbook, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be reading the questions off of there or whatever. So let's, first of all, let me pray for my food. Amen. So let's get to it. First question is, ooh, this is hella good. How'd you get your name? Well, for those of you who may know me from, you know, years and years ago, my name used to be T-Mac. Now, when Facebook first started, my name was T-Mac type shit. I was hella young. I was trying to just fill my body up with tattoos and I fucked around and almost got it tatted. Good thing I didn't have enough room to get the actual word type shit tatted, whatever. Then I joined this group called NWB and my name became NWB Granddaddy Matt. I also got NWB tatted on my neck right there. You can see it if you can see it. And I'm being for life. And then after that, once I really started building like a following for myself, like my name started getting known more, people started knowing who I was. I started tapping into music. Hello more, you know what I'm saying? So I started taking it a little bit more serious. So then I tried to I tried to figure out like what could I name myself? I went from NWB Granddaddy Mac to Super Duper T Mac. Well in the studio session with my nigga Big Ribs, aka Hot Rodney. You know what I'm saying? Shout to Ribs. I was with 6 a.m., 3 6. I'm in the booth and I'm thinking, I'm like, damn, how can I make myself like more, like, how can I stamp myself a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm talking to Ridge. I'm like, damn, so like, what you what you think I should change my name to? And then he just started throwing suggestions out there. He was like, Superintendent T Mac, Sergeant T Mac, you know what I'm saying? And shit like that. I'm like, okay, well, I don't want it to be like super, I don't want it to be like super duper long. You see how many times I say super duper, but anyway. I don't want it to be like super long or no shit like that. I don't want it to people to have to feel like they gotta go through a whole tongue twister to say my name. So I'm like, okay, maybe I should just take the T-Mac part off. So I had that conversation with him and then ever since then I changed my name to just Super Duper. I call myself Super Duper because it's like, I got so many powers, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like a, I'm like a superhero. I like a cartoon character. I got all these abilities, you know what I'm saying? I can draw, dance, write my own music, got engineer, you know what I'm saying? Videography, photography, sing, paint, fashion design, act, you know what I'm saying? Direct, whatever the, you know what I'm saying? Name it. Only thing I can't do at the moment, because I'm in the process of learning right now, is make my own beats and backflip. When I learn how to make my own beats and backflip, man, I'm telling you, you know, it's, it's over. With that being said, it's more easy, for me to just make that all my social media handles. It's not too long of a name. I can play that off of so many different marketable, you know, avenues, you know what I'm saying? I'm super duper. Like, think about how many times you said 
It's super duper cold, or it's gonna be super duper lit, blah, 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 super duper this, super duper that. Now, when I be doing like my Uber rides and shit like that, and then I get in the car, people be like, super duper? And like, it's always a conversation after that, you know what I'm saying? People love my name type of shit. I'm beating the odds, you know what I'm saying? My name not like Lil Super Duper, my name not, not like Lil Stapler or Lil Handgun or some shit like that. The game is like super duper oversaturated with Lil's and shit like that. Next question. When did you lose your virginity? Well, I was 13. The girl was older than me or whatever. She was like 16, maybe 15 or whatever. And she told me to come to her house. Beforehand, she already told me. And she told me to come to her house. She told me that, you know what I'm saying, we about to get it popping. But I didn't really knew what to do. I was watching hella porno, trying to get my stroke right, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Hit it with some moves, type of shit like that. Then I'm gonna get over there and beat that shit in. And I get over there, she asked me was I ready. I'm like, hell yeah. I pull out the Jimmy cap, put him on. I get in there, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Crazy, man, when you go from uh, being a little boy to being a grown man in four seconds, your life changed. And I just, I just couldn't help myself. I did that, I bust, and she was like, damn, like, you done? And I'm like, I don't know, I guess, like, yeah. She kicked me out, she kicked me out. I, I mean, I'm not really I'm not really sure what she was expecting. Like, she knew I was a virgin type of shit, but she definitely told me to get the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? But I ran into her later on in life after I had my shit together. And uh, next question is, um, how old are you? All right, let's take a guess. How old do y'all think I am? Spam down in the comment section below how old you think I am before I spill the beans. I'm 24 right now. You know what I'm saying? My birthday is June 24th, so last year was my golden birthday. Bro, the house is right here. Can you get off the fucking grass? Okay, what if you do like this? You grab one half. I turn the fuck up. How tall are you? I'm five ten and a half. Five eleven, depending on the weather. Six feet in my easy boots. Next question is, where are you from? I'm from Milwaukee. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Four one four. I'm saying home in the middle where they steal and kill. Next question is, what made you dye your hair? I just wanted to try something new. I was going to high school of the arts. And I think this was around the time like jerking was in. I put like a whiz patch, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever the fuck it's called. It wasn't even a whiz patch, it was like a strip. It was a whole strip. Um, then I went to Vincent. All, everybody was getting the one whiz strip. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm about to be leveled up on niggas. I got two of them bitches. And if you go to like one of my real, real old videos, like way, way down, you'll see I had the big fro, the big curly fro. And I'm like this and shit like that. My mom wanted me to cut my hair. I didn't want to do it, but I'm like, whatever, fuck it. So I cut my hair for graduation. And I dyed my hair. I had waves. I got my hair brown. My hair ain't been my original color since 2010. Um, my original hair color is like, uh, I almost said blue. <laughs> my original hair color is like brown, like a really, really dark brown. Depending on like the season, this type of shit. That's what made me dye my hair. I just wanted to see how my waves would look in a different color. Now what made me dye my hair blue is, that's my favorite color. I knew I would be more marketable as an artist and you know what I'm saying, people would, want to tap in more because they never seen no shit like that. Like before I dyed my hair blue, you never seen nobody dye like the waves, like the actual waves blue. I didn't even start off with dyeing my waves blue. Like I had a head full of like curly hair and I just dyed my whole fro blue. I was dyeing my hair so much and flat ironing it, flat ironing, flat ironing it so much. But and I was doing that for like three years. I was doing that so much that I burnt my hair texture out. So my hair started being like from super curly to like really brittle and straight. One morning I tried to pick it out and like a big ass chunk just fell out. I didn't waste no time. I went straight to the barbershop and ever since then I had waves. And then once my shit like really set, like I cut my hair and I had waves automatically. Once my shit like really settled in, 
That's when I went ahead and dyed them blue. I never seen nobody with no blue waves for real. That's what made me dye my hair. Next question. When was your first kiss? It's funny because my first kiss was in kindergarten. I really didn't know what the fuck was going on. So I pretty much jumped off the porch early as fuck. Shout out to Alexis. I still remember her name. I went to Engelberg. I had really long hair back then. She told me to come in the coat room. She pushed me up against the coat hood. Now, why she was like so experienced and knowledge at this age, I have no idea. But she pushed me up against the coat hooks and she told me to open my mouth. I did so and... <laughs> Next question is, are you single? Check this out. My last relationship was over a year ago. Before then, it was over three or four years ago. I'm single. <laughs> I don't want anybody because I'm good where I'm at and where I've been. I got me in a situation. We not like locked in, but you know, our loyalty is there type of shit. So I'm dating someone if that is a better way to say it. I probably seen her from the last uh, Super Soul, Super Soul 2. At the moment, she's mystery girl. So I probably, you know, I'm just gonna figure out who she is. Eventually. Next question is, what's the best way to break up with somebody? I would just say, just tell them. I'm pretty straightforward with stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't like to be led on, play with. Time is fucking flying. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Who want to sit here and waste time? If I'm not interested or I don't want to fuck with you no more, I'm going to just tell you, like, respectfully, but honestly, because I would want somebody to do the same, you know what I'm saying, with me type of shit. I would just tell them, like, hey, look, I know, you know what I'm saying, things started off kind of smooth. And, you know, the chemistry was there, but I'm just not feeling it no more, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to continue to engage in any further activity and let your heart grow any more fond of me than what it already is. And I'm not in the same space type of shit. So before things get too deep or even deeper, I think it's best that we just part ways because I'm not, I'm not in that space no more. And then just let them know that you're sorry for, you know, any misunderstanding or just wish that just hope for the best and that it's not no hard feelings because it's like a nigga could have just been like fucking off and i'd rather somebody just tell me like you don't want to be with me then you sneak behind my back and cheat on me then i gotta find out you cheat on me so then i break up with you like don't make me break up with you if you've been wanting to break up with me just tell the nigga you know what i'm saying type of shit like that so that's what i would say the best way to break up with somebody is to just be honest with them be upfront and tell them because that's what i would want somebody to do with me disclaimer I probably should have said this in the beginning of the video. I got a problem with smacking my food. I cannot help it. I tried to help it so many times, but I just feel like if I close my mouth and chew, I'm not gonna be able to breathe. I'm not gonna be able to move my shit around in there. So it's like, and I'm trying to talk at the same time. Like, so yeah, so don't even, you know what I'm saying? I can't. Next question is how many tattoos do you have? I got one tattoo. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. I broke the silence, I got one tattoo. I just got one big ass tattoo. I'm a tattoo myself. Uh, I think I got my first tattoo at like 15. On March 19th. March 19th, I got my first tattoo, and that was 10 years ago. I had got a more than si mia across my chest, and that means love. That means love conquers all in uh, Latin American language. Got that quote from this book that we were reading in High School of the Arts uh, in Mr. Bruss's class. I'm a creative writing major for those who what did you know or didn't know? I told my mom I was going to get a haircut. Took hella long, you know what I'm saying? So she was wondering what the fuck was going on. Like, damn, this is the longest haircut this nigga ever went to go get type of shit. So came back. Uh, I was feeling hella guilty. I wrote this essay on why I got the tattoo and what it meant to me type of shit. Came in, I told her, like, you know what I'm saying? I did something I wasn't supposed to do. I don't know how she already knew, but she was like, I don't even want to see it. So then I just left the essay for her. Oh, she was probably mad at me for like, like a couple days, maybe a week at the most. And then after that, I just started going crazy. I wanted to have the most tattoos in school and I just started getting a bunch of shit. All my homies was doing tattoos. I started doing tattoos. So it was like, I could, I could just get a tattoo any day I wanted. So I was throwing my guy $20. $50 shit, maybe $100 max to do a tattoo and I was just getting what the fuck ever. Now I gotta go back and cover up a bunch of shit, get a bunch of shit, did, up, did over, and you know what I'm saying, just get a bunch of new shit. So next question is, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Space Jam. When I was younger, I had this big ass Space Jam party. I had the clowns, I had the Space Jam cake. I had the Space Jam hoodie right here. I had this boot right here that I did. I got Blanco on the side of that. I got the Space Jam Jordans right here. They're kind of dusty because I rarely wear them. Um, these are the 45 edition ones. Um, I got the box and shit like that still. Packaging and shit like that is important to me. I 
Next question is, uh, what's the most money you spent on a pair of shoes? I got these Yeezy 950s. I spent $700. I spent $700 on these, man. $700. These are my most expensive shoes. My Jordan 11s are my favorite shoes of all time. I did hella research on these mugs just to make sure that these mugs was real and they are definitely authentic. Uh, so, yeah. Light skin or dark skin? I like light skin girls. My celebrity crush is India Westbrook. So there's that. Dark skin girls have done me the dirtiest. By dark skin, I mean like hella dark, like dark skin, like darker than me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not dark skin. I think I'm like brown skin. I'm like caramel, if you will. Mystery girl is darker than me, but she not dark skinned though. But she probably like a shade darker than me, but she definitely changing the game. Story is why I don't even like dark skinned girls so much because I've been stabbed in the back by dark skinned girls. And I'm not like talking about like stab in the back. I'm talking about like legitimately stab in the back, like with a butter knife. Like I walked in on her, cheated on me with somebody that I freaking knew. I tried to walk out the house and she got the butter knife, you know what I'm saying? And stabbed me in my back, you know what I'm saying? Luckily, I turned around and <laughs> before she took me out. Disclaimer, I do not put my hands on women. But if you're trying to take me out, my nigga, you're trying to kill me. I gotta survive, you know what I'm saying? I got shit to do in the morning. Other than that, I've never ever put my hands on a female before. But she was legitimately like trying to kill me. Because I was gonna walk out on her for catching her in the act type of shit. So next question is... Okay, yeah, this is the last question. Oh yeah, this is a good question too. Is what made you become a vegetarian? First time I moved to California, it was just like a heat of the moment type of shit situation. Talking to my brother Six and you're free six and I'm at work and we was going hella hard with the music shit. And I'm like, bro, let's just move to California, you know what I'm saying? Why not? We grown, we could do what we wanna do, let's just go. He was like, all right, fuck it. Well, he drove to California because he was living in Houston at the time. I was living here in Milwaukee, but I was working at this butcher shop. I was a bus boy, I was a butcher, and I was uh, cleaning up and shit in there. So every morning and shit, I'm having to bring in like big ass, dead pigs, skinny rabbits. I'm cutting up, oh, fuck. I'm bringing in baby calves. Every morning I'm walking into this big ass like freezer and I'm looking at this fucking pig head. Stare at me in my fucking eyes. That shit was just fucking with my insides. Like, that shit just fucked me up. I watched What the Health, and then that shit fucked it up for me. And my brother was already a vegetarian at the time. I think he was at, like, maybe a year, maybe two years into being a vegetarian before he went vegan last year. Uh... Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, so that's my, that's my mistake. So the first time I moved to California, I didn't become a vegetarian. The first time I moved to California, I only stayed for like a couple months because I didn't want to run through my, I didn't want to blow through all my tax money. Me and him was living in his car at that time. So then I moved back. Second time I moved to California, which was three years ago, almost three years ago, is when it happened. I drove to California. It was 30 hours. I stuck in North Platte, Nebraska, because my tire had popped. I made it there. And then uh, we had like a, we had a studio where now, I thought my phone blew up. Damn. Oh, is that my light? I don't know. It was a big ass building with like a bunch of like, you know what I'm saying, different like little rooms and shit like it, shit like that in it. Cause everybody was either doing music or doing like some filming or like radio podcast type of shit like that. So, and we built, we built the actual studio inside that room like a little booth or whatever, shit like that, to build the booth from the ground up. And uh, California is hella expensive and shit like that. So I was taking it slow on eating big meals as is. But me and him had gotten to an argument and then didn't hear from him for a while. And then I had forgot that he changed his number. So the whole time, I'm texting the wrong number and shit like that. So I was on my way to move out of California to Texas type of shit. So. But anyway, in the midst of that, I was just going through day by day, like not really eating too much meat. I'm in my car and shit like that. So I was really saving my money to eat meat and eat like bigger meals on the weekends because, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to just, 
I, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, could, I couldn't afford it type of shit. After a while, I just got used to not eating meat. And once I ended up moving to Texas, I was only eating tuna. And then, you know what I'm saying? My brother was like, yeah, so that's not, you're not a vegetarian, you're a pescatarian type of shit. I'm like, oh, no. So I'm pretty much fronting my shit then. I just cut that shit out completely. And yeah, that was August uh, 14th. So this year it will make three years I've been a vegetarian. So seeing how like they was treating the animals and shit like that in the slaughterhouses and shit and that shit is not cool. So this year I'm looking to transition into being a vegan. I don't really eat eggs like that. Like I can't eat eggs without cheese. That's the hard thing that, I, that I'm gonna probably have to give up would be cheese because you know cheese is so addicted. I don't drink regular milk, I drink almond milk. We'll end up becoming a vegan this year for sure. My daughter is like, <laughs> she's funny, like, you know, I know you guys seen her from my last Super Soul too. She thinks she's a vegetarian and shit like that now, so that's hella cute. Oh, yeah, that's what made me become a vegetarian, um, and that's the last question. I want to see me do more shit like this, like answering questions, DM me questions on my Instagram or on my Snap or any of my social media accounts for that matter. If y'all not subscribed, man, go ahead and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it, man. Comment, like, all that good mess, man. And again, man, as always, let me get one for the super troopers. Super duper, we out.